Hey guys, it's Video Tech Dude. Today we're gonna be building uh, my new computer and so it's pretty exciting. So here's all of my parts I have. Uh, we got the RTX 2070. It's uh, fresh off the new egg. Um, and then we got the AMD Ryzen 2600. But then we got uh, some 16 gigs of DDR4 RIP uh, JAWS RAM. So that's pretty cool. Then we got uh, the Corsair Node Pro, some pricey um, RGBs, but they're addressable, so that's cool. And I got my old 500 watt power supply. Um, and not to mention, we got the ASUS ROG Strix B450-F gaming motherboard. Um, now I'm not the biggest gamer, but I will be running some games, not gonna lie. Uh, and so this is pretty cool. It got a RGB here. It's kind of covered by the box, but I mean by the sticker, but um, We got the M.2 storage. It's 250 gigs um, And that will be good. It just goes straight on the motherboard. No SATA, no uh, Power needed for that, which is nice. Then we got a two terabyte laptop drive and This is nice because it fits in your standard uh, uh, SSD slot so it will just fit in there nice and be not big um and now i got my h60 cpu cooler this is a aio liquid cooler and um, i have a review of this on my channel a uh, link to it somewhere and then um but i love this thing. yeah this thing gives me great temperatures and i just love it a lot it looks cool and functions cool um, but we got the corsair 460x uh, carbine crystal whatever you call it uh, glass case and we got tempered glass on the front and tempered glass on the side and this is pretty exciting I like me some glass um, and we got three RGB fans they are the Corsair SP 120 millimeter fans and some people have um, complained that they can be a little loud but they light up so can't complain about that so with all that being said, let's get started building. I'm so happy how this build turned out. The lights look great and they're addressable and I can all control them using the Corsair IQ software. These custom braided cables I got from Amazon look great with the build. They match with the black and white color scheme and it's a super nice touch. Also my case lights and my keyboard sync together with the lighting. Taking off the plastic wrap was satisfying as usual, although it was a little trickier than expected. The RGB light on the 2070 graphics card is addressable, but I cannot control it using my motherboard since I do not have an MSI motherboard. 
I installed these two 120mm Cooler Master fans because they're quiet and they add more than sufficient exhaust for the airflow in the case. There's also an addressable RGB light on the ASUS motherboard. Although it doesn't sync with the Corsair software, it still looks great. Thanks for watching the video. Links to the products will be in the description along with any individual reviews I may have of the products. If you're interested in videos like these, make sure to like and subscribe to be notified on all the upcoming videos I may have. With that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.